the gyroscope is precessing, if you give it a boost and the direction of precession, you'll notice it goes up. Okay, some of these other experiments I've done have been looking to see what opposite effect that has. Basically, kind of like Newton's third law. So these, this experiment we're doing today is going to uh, investigate this a little bit further. And uh, obviously, the since the gyroscope, when it goes up like that, is at a higher potential energy relative to the ground. Energy is coming from me twisting it. But what kind of downward force does it have on a scale? That's what we're going to investigate a little bit further in this video. Thank you. Okay, here's our experimental apparatus. This is a 12 volt lithium ion battery from a, a Black & Decker cordless drill. This is a wireless remote control relay. Uh, this is the remote for that wireless remote control relay. Um, the way I've got it wired right now. Oh, I've also got, look down here, this is, uh, there's a solenoid here. And it's attached to this little, it's like a wheel with a spring to keep it retracted. Underneath there is a gear motor. And the way it works is when I activate the re wireless remote, the solenoid pushes this um, motor into this wheel here on the base of this gyroscope support. And the gear motor also is actuated simultaneously. And the way this wireless remote is set up right now, it stays actuated for about half a second. The idea being that um, when we'll get the gyroscope precessing and let it spin down a little bit, activate this and give it a little boost and watch the gyroscope go up and we'll see what happens on the scale. Now this digital scales I've had in some of my other experiments, unfortunately, um, when it's zero, like right now it's teared to zero, the the display is dark. Um, if if it goes negative, you'll see a little negative symbol over to the left, like that. So what I'm going to do is similar to what I've done before, is just add a little weight to it to keep the display positive, and hopefully it will. About half a gram. I'm going to give you a little closer look at what I've got here. This is polycarbonate, black sand. This is a solenoid. Okay, a little hard to see from this angle. What I've got here, that's the motor part of a gear motor. And you can see underneath through the Lexan, there's the little gearbox for the gear motor right under there. This is just like a pillow block kind of a bearing over here and this can spin freely on there. A little hard to see now with that gyroscope attached. This is just 12 volt battery, wireless controller, and the wireless remote for the controller, which actuates, stays actuated for half a second um, when I do it. These, these are just actually pads for furniture, to keep it from scratching the floor. I drilled them out, used 5 16 inch stainless to attach them and uh, made this so it can move in, into and out of that. These are the same diameter, so there's no gear reduction or whatever here. This can move freely in all these directions like this so that when, when this actuates, it just gives that a little extra spin in the direction of precession. Okay, for another point of reference, show you what kind of total mass we're dealing with. We're going to take this off, tear the balance. Unfortunately, when it goes to zero, it, the screen goes dark. We'll put this back on without that paper clip. Make sure we're not touching this. By the way, this is a Fresnel lens to magnify the display so we can see it better. 
Okay. We're reading 1,124.3 grams. Okay, I know for fact, because I weighed this separately, the spindle plus the gyroscope body itself weighs 153 grams. So that's that's the kind of total mass we're doing. What we're going to do is we're going to do this a few times, regular video and a few times in slow-mo and see what we can make of all the data. So I'm going to go ahead and tear it again. Add the paper clip so we can get a little bit of weight there and have a have a display that we can see. It's still reading about half a gram. Now what we'll do is we'll spin up the gyroscope, get it precessing. Um, we'll watch the display on the scale. And then I'm going to activate this, uh, this little gear motor with the solenoid and push it into that. And you'll see it. It'll, it'll boost it up. Similar to in my video, gyroscope appearing to violate Newton's third law. Very similar thing where it's pushing a rod. The beauty of this is it takes any of my personal influence completely out of it because I'm not going to be touching anything when this happens. So we'll see what happen. We'll see what how it does. We'll get it spun up and then we'll give it a try. All right. It's precessing. We'll get the wireless remote. You know, watch that little wheel right there. It'll push into it. Watch the scale right now. We're reading 0.4 grams. Moves so quick, it's a little hard to see. Let's let it spin down a little bit more. So we're 0 0.4, 0 0.5 grams. We're just sitting there precessing. You'll notice the gyroscope raise up in the air when the wheel gives it a little boost. happens quick it's a little hard for me to see what the um, scale is doing looks like it's going positive maybe one and a half grams Maybe more two grams, then it goes negative. Two point three. I'll have to review that data.
Okay, um, some of the data, it indicated that as the uh, gyroscope would spin upwards, when I give it a little boost from the gear motor, uh, I would get a positive or a net pressing down effect. Other data appeared that it was either neutral or negative. I think some of the issues might be the some sort of hysteresis in that digital scale that I've been using. Not real sure. But um, one thing that is for sure, the difference, because this thing is actually fairly heavy, it's 153 grams, that when it would move up and the torque would be pushing down, I would expect the amount that it would show to be greater than what we were seeing. Because the scale was sensitive enough to show that. And at the most, I saw a couple of grams. Uh, and quite often, just uh, fractions of a gram. So, um, in any event, I hope this helps somebody else who's interested in doing this sort of experiment. And it was fun putting it together. If you like, uh, like it, you know, please like our channel and, and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thank you.